Alright guys, um, do it again here, and today we are probably going to do the last tutorial. Uh, make sure I got all my tools there. So today we are going to do finish the Z-axis and start on the Y. Should be fairly simple, um, shouldn't be that hard. Uh, let's just put these in here. The end caps. They're good to go in there. In caps. And the first part we're going to use is part number Bed carriage underscore P one underscore P as in Paul dash zero one two. So basically part twelve. Uh, we're just gonna attach it. There's gonna be two screws in here. And we're just gonna attach it to this Z carriage here. Uh, if you recall the plastic part that had the five sixteenths nut. Uh, from the er earlier video, there's two 1032 uh, nuts back there also. So this is going to tighten into those nuts. Just like that. Kind of have to push it together. Got it. It's just a washer. I put a washer back there. It's just a washer snapping into place. It wasn't any plastic. Uh, from there we go and put on the stepper motor. Screws off here. This shouldn't take too long. Unless I lose another screw. It's kind of stuck in there. I'm going to go ahead and put the pulley in there also. Uh, have the wires facing this way. Just nice and snug in there. There you go. Uh, the wires will go out the hole back here. You see that hole? Just the wire over there. Let's tighten down the stepper motor with these M3 nuts. Uh, no, we don't yet. So this part is going to go on first. Right here what we have is um, 11 16th. It's a 5 16th inch washer 11 sixteenths in diameter we have one washer there another washer here the bearing another bearing and then another 5 sixteenths washer uh, 11 sixteenths inch in diameter that's gonna go on top like that and oh we're not gonna do this yet Um, we're going to put these screws in first, actually. Hope this okay, it's recording. This 
should go right into the stepper motor. The motor is tap, tap for it. Okay. Trying to think how I should do this here. Let me get the correct order. Sorry, this part here, this white part, is um, bid carriage underscore P as in Paul 2 underscore P as in Paul dash 01313. So basically, part 13. Uh, right here, we have a, another in stop switch. The wire is going to go through this hole here. The biggest one. Just go straight down. It's also go, going to go out the same way as the other one. Nuts off. Too tight. Uh, this carriage here, this part here, part third. Uh, no. This part is bid carriage uh, P3 underscore P. Dash zero one four, so basically part thirteen, uh, fourteen. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So this part here also has four linear bearings. There's two over here, as you can see. There's one right there, and there's another two over here. The linear bearings are just like this. You slide two in here and two over here. There they go. Just pull this down. This green wire will also go through the hole back there. The same hole that the stepper motor went through. Let me just show you guys here. So this is the wire for the end stop. Um, let's tighten this down. Put the nut down here. What is wrong? Make sure the bearings are all in before you tighten it. going to put the bed in. Um, actually when I make the urethane mold for this, this is all going to be one piece. Uh, this, the bed, we're going to eliminate these two clamps, we're going to eliminate this, this, so instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces is all just going to be one piece. 
Um, instead of three over here, it's just going to be one piece. Um, these legs, instead of six pieces, it's just going to be two pieces, which is one for each leg. Uh, there's going to be a lot less plastic parts because I would just mold them all together. Uh, for this, and we have our linear bearing, our rod. So we just push it out like that. The rods will be able to go through this hole here. Just make sure you put the collar locks on there. That's what I call it. Um, Alright, and now just slowly push it through the linear bearing. You really don't want to push it, just kind of drag it slowly so you don't damage the bearing itself. There we go. Oops. Once it's in there, you just push whatever you want. And it's actually going to go in here. Just push these back. These things, these clamps here, if you guys can see it, it's actually going to be the plastic part that just clamps it in position so the rod doesn't move. So there we have the bed. Simple. Uh, this should be the most simple uh, assembly here. This axis. Uh, 5 sixteenths washer again. 11 sixteenths in diameter, the bearing, the bearing, and another washer there, and another washer here. What we're going to do now, we're going to wrap the belt around the pulley, just like that, just like that for now.